So this is Professor Favors. Hi, I wanted to go over the Purdue OWL video introduction and show you how to format using the guidelines for how to format electronic sources. So I have a screenshot here of the website that I did the introduction on, and then I have um, the guidelines. So just remember uh, author, editor's name, article name and quotation marks, title of the website, version numbers, publisher information, taking note of any page numbers, website address, and then the date you accessed the material. And so now we're actually going to create the entry. And I have the link here. I always remember you need the website address uh, and you just do a quick uh, link um, to it. And so now let's look at it. Remember, we do not have an author or editor, so we can just skip that. But we do have an article name in quotation marks, which is the web article, MLA, Works Cited, Electronic Sources, Web Publications. So we're going to start there. So uh, open quotation marks, MLA, Works Cited, Electronic Sources, open parentheses, Web Publications, close parentheses, period quotation marks okay so that's how you you will format the article name and quotation marks mla uh requires that you capitalize every major word uh if we were doing apa it would just be the first word so space and so now we need the title of the website and in the video i told you what that is and so that is purdue online writing lab so you need to italicize it. If you don't know how to italicize it, it's usually control I on your computer, but you can also, let me see if I can show it. Here. You can also click the I button um, in the document. So it's going to be Purdue. Let me, let me, I gotta remember it. Purdue Online Writing Lab. Purdue, Purdue Online Writing Lab. Okay. Um, period take off the italics uh, italics so you hit control i again or you just hit the i button space okay now we need the um the, the, that's your title of the website in italics so we don't have any version numbers and then we have publisher information and then uh, uh we don't have um a publishing date so publisher information is going to be, you can't see it here, but it's College of Liberal Arts and then Purdue University. So College of Liberal Arts, comma, Purdue University. Okay. Okay. So then after the sponsor, there's a comma, and then you insert the link here. If you had a uh, publishing date, it would actually go here before the link. Since we don't have a publishing date, then we just insert the link. Add a period, space, and then the date that you accessed it. So H-C-C-E-S-S-E-D, and then 03-J-A-N period 2024 period. Okay, so that's the way that you would format... Um, a electronic source, a page, based upon the information that is provided in the source material. So let me go down. Now, when you uh, are formatting the page, um, every line, the first line is indented left, as you see here. The second and subsequent lines are going to be indented right. So sometimes it's easy to do it if you just hit your tab button, but then it'll go back over. So you have to do uh, undo. On this same line, hit the enter button and then hit tab and go to the next line and hit tab. And then it should do a hanging indent. Now it's not perfect because I did not do, um, uh, this should be 2.0 and then remove space after paragraph to make sure that it's a uh, true double space if the web link wraps to the next line don't worry about that just continue to uh, type until you get to the next line then also for all mla um, formatted documents they are in times new roman 
0.5, I mean 12 uh, uh, size, okay? Then it's going to kind of mess up again. So um, that's why it's important to, uh, to uh, set it up before. So I'm going to do this right quick again, and then it goes back over. And then it should look like this, okay? So this is the um, formatting um, the website example for Purdue Owl. All right, thank you very much for listening.